The Holy Gospel of our Savior, Jesus Christ, according to John. Jesus said to them, very truly I tell you, the son could do nothing on his own, but only what he sees the father doing. For whatever the father does, the son does likewise. The father loves the son and shows him all that he himself is doing. And he will show him greater works than these, so that you will be astonished. Indeed, just as the father raises the dead and gives them life, so also the son gives life to whomsoever he wishes. The father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the son, so that all may honor the son, just as they honor the father. Anyone who does not honor the son does not honor the father who sent him. Very truly, I tell you, anyone who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and does not come under judgment, but has passed from death to life. Very truly, I tell you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to execute judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not be astonished at this, for the hour is coming when all who are in their graves will hear his voice and will come out. Those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. Wow. Just a little background on this passage from John. This is right after Jesus has healed a man who was waiting on the side of the pool, waiting to be dunked in to be healed. For they said the angel stirred the waters and was able to create healing. And he could not find anyone. But Jesus comes and heals this man. And not only does he heal him, he does it on the Sabbath. And this is someone who had been in this condition for 38 years. So Jesus touches him, heals him, tells him to take up his mat and walk. And the religious leaders are furious because he does this on the Sabbath. One of, right away, one of the first applications I hear is, don't miss an opportunity to do good. Yes, there's always so many things to do. Our schedules are so busy. And yes, rest is important. But when you have an opportunity to make a difference in someone's life, do it. And allow yourself to receive that type of a blessing as well. Not only are the religious leaders not astonished, they are angry. So the second application for me is don't lose your sense of being marveled or being astonished. He has changed a life. He has healed a life. It is so wonderful when you see someone who has turned their life around either through their faith or through their company that they keep or a 12-step program or therapy or a combination of all of that. And you see a new person brought back to life, to spirit, a new spirit. That is cause for being astonished and marvel. Let us not lose that capacity. Even in the simple, ordinary things. Yesterday I was on the train and the trains are always on rush hour, late and slow and moving tons of people around. And this family got on the train with two little girls and they were so excited to be on that train. They had this wonderful sense of adventure and marvel, and it couldn't help but change the mood that I was in. And all of a sudden the train ride was a marvel for me. Don't lose the capacity for wonder and astonishment, especially for a life being turned around. And lastly, the Gospel of John is always about identity, who Jesus is, Christology. 
Know who you are in Christ too. We should know who we are. I think it's interesting that Jesus talks in the third, pers third person in this passage, the son. Who has seen the father has seen the son. The son has authority. Instead of saying, who has seen the father has seen me. I have authority to do this. I think that's a wonderful lesson for us as well. It's never, never just about us alone. We didn't make it where we are on our own. And Jesus says he does nothing on his own without the Father. I think that's a wonderful guidepost for us as well. Know that we are part of something bigger. We didn't get to where we are in life by ourselves alone. We have people who have helped us and we have God who is in us. So my brief message today is know who you are in Christ. Don't lose your sense of marvel. And when you have an opportunity to do good, please do so. Amen.